All right, so how's everyone doing? We're uh, getting started here on our Facebook Live event for this week. We're going to get updated on Constitution events for the week, Constitution Party events, and uh, make sure that you know what's going on so that you can get involved and hopefully help out. Uh, again, apologize about all the technology. We're actually working on that. We're going to move it. Uh, as all of you know that are members of the party, or maybe you don't, you're watching this video, uh, this is really a party of the people. I mean, there are a lot of people. They're not politicians. They're regular people like you and me trying to make this happen. And I just love that. I, lo I love the idea this is a party of the people, that the people are the ones uh, that are making it happen. And so here we are, right? We're going to get this done because we're going to do what's best for America, because uh, what's best for our families. So this week, um, I just want to talk real quick. Um, the Constitution Party of West Virginia, they sent an email alert concerning uh, the support for opportunities for others to support a Senate candidate who champions the rule of law. Long sentence. They're going to have a meeting. Uh, in Charleston on Saturday, January 13th at the Bob Evans. Um, it's going to be in Kanawha City. Hopefully you guys down there know what that is. Kanawha City. Sorry about the pronunciation there. And it's going to be at noon. So it's in Charleston on Saturday, January 13th at the Bob Evans in Kanawha City uh, beginning at noon. The West Virginia Legislature, which convenes on January 10th, will be invite, invited to attend uh, along with the Secretary of State State Attorney General, and the Governor. So the guest speakers is going to be Keith Morgan of the WVCDL. He's going to be speaking on Second Amendment rights. Uh, Brenda Arthur is going to be talking about refugee influx into West Virginia. And Dr. Josh Super, is, he's a college professor. He's going to be speaking about political climate, perspectives, and effects, student, college students, where are they, and reaching them and more. And that's actually a very good one because if the, if the Constitution Party is going to survive, they definitely need some younger blood. Um, nothing wrong with the guys that have been around a while. They've, they've kept it together and they've kept it going. And, and definitely they're going to be leadership for the next generation. But for this party to grow and, and sustain, uh, they, college kids, younger people are definitely going to be a big part of moving the party forward. Um, so that's what's going on down there in West Virginia. Down in Florida, uh, let's see. We have some newly elected officers for the Constitution Party of Florida. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go through here. The chairman is Ron Valdivia. He's in Windermere, Florida. Vice chairman is Jim Penna. He's out of there out of Ocala, Florida. And the secretary treasurer is Luis McLean. And she is out of Jupiter, Florida. So it uh, looks like we got some newly elected people down there in Florida. I uh, hope you guys can really help the party get moved into the, the future, help create some direction for this party. And again, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm doing this from home today. Uh, technical issues at work, so uh, please bear with me with these crazy dogs. <laughs> dogs are crazy. Um, okay, so uh, congratulations, you guys, on, on that election down there. Uh, and when I say congratulations, I mean you know, you got some people that are willing to move the party forward. So support them and help them and, you know, find some candidates, find some money, find some support, grow the party, and let's move forward with the Constitution Party. Uh, the last one here, um, just to get you up to date, the Vision 2020 and the County by County program have both been submitted to the National Executive Committee to start promoting. The County by County program will probably be seeing its way to the state organizations by the end of the month. Uh, the Vision 2020 is going to take longer to put together, so Gary has asked uh, them to have something ready by the next National Committee meeting. And then also, which I'm excited about this because I'm going down there, the CPAC meeting in February. Uh, the CPAC committee is still looking for volunteers and donations to get everything that they need for the CPAC 2018 event. Uh, and I think it's going to be a good event for the Constitution Party. It's going to put, it's going to let people know that the party's growing, that it's, be, that it's relevant and that it's worth looking at. I think it's going to be a lot of networking done there, a lot of connections, and just simply branding, just letting people know that the Constitution Party is serious and they're a contender. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, last thing is, everybody knows today, Roy Moore. He's running down in Alabama. I'm interested to see what happens. I think a lot of people are. And it's not necessarily just about Roy Moore, but just about politics in general and, and maybe a glimpse of what 2018 is going to look like and possibly what tactics they're going to use uh, in this next election and what we're going to have to deal with. And then, you know, of course, we have the cake baker issue. So that's still out there and uh, they're still working on that case, which I'm intimately uh, paying attention to because as a as a Christian just outside the party, 
it's pretty relevant for me. So hope everyone has a great day. Um, the party's going to keep pushing forward. If you see social media, if you see the Facebook account, if you see the page, come and come on your page from somebody else, like it. Uh, if you share your page somewhere, like it. If we can share these pages and like these pages, we're going to push them up in our news feeds and we're going to draw more people to the party. If we draw more people to the party, they're going to know what's going on. Um, they're going to be more aware and hopefully start participating because we need people, we need money, we need candidates, and we need to get to work. America needs us. So let's get this party off the ground. Uh, thanks, everybody, for joining in. I'm going to maybe try to do another one later this week. This one was kind of rushed. The week's been a little crazy so far, but uh, we'll keep it going. And thank you for everybody for tuning in. Thanks again. Bye.